YouTube, what up, man? It's your boy Hemi Meets, and I'm back again with another video for y'all, man. So, I've been meaning to make a video for a minute now because uh, I just been meaning to make a video because we got some big changes to the Chrysler. If you follow me on Instagram at Michi the Great, you feel me? Follow me on Instagram. If you follow me on uh, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever you follow me on, I'm pretty sure y'all seen it. But for those, you know, all the people who are uh, on YouTube who don't follow me on, you know, those social medias. Um, yeah, basically, let me reintroduce my car to y'all, man, because, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. For all my new subscribers, for all my OG subscribers, this is my 2013 Chrysler 300C all-wheel drive 5.7 Hemi. And as y'all can see, it don't look like your regular... 13 2013 Chrysler 300 man this bitch is murdered let me blank that out hopefully I blanked out this mug is murdered out y'all when I say the car is murdered out it is literally murdered out the car looks so nasty let me take y'all around back for all my OG subscribers and my new subscribers basically all I told y'all I was gonna do the rear end swap and we now have the rear end swap we have the new back bumper we have the newer tail lights we got the rear diffuser aggressive rear diffuser you know we went all we just did the whole thing finished it up as y'all can see the car is looking spotless shout out to my boy um i drive a gxp hemi i'm gonna leave his stuff in the bio because he be glad to my car man he be he be getting my car right so as y'all can see this is the 2015 and up s bumper like basically this looks like the new srt basically so yeah and then we got the fan we just got hella stuff and let's go back to the front because i don't think y'all seen the front actually as y'all can see we now have a hellcat hood on the chrysler y'all we got a hellcat hood we got the headlights smoked out so you really can't really really can't really see nothing unless i turn the little key fob on but Honestly, I think that headlight tint is gonna be coming on soon because that is just too dark with the front window tint. It barely looked like my headlights is on, man. So, yeah, so this is basically how the build is going. Like I said, this is my 2013 Chrysler 300. Hard to believe, hard to believe, honestly, that this car is a 2013, man. Also, I got some goodies on the side I gotta show y'all. Let me go ahead and show y'all real quick. Put my bag on my. Put my bag on my back. Yeah, put my bag on. Keep that thing on me. My arm hurt, man. I've been, you know, I just been, I've been working. I've been, I've been working on the cock like crazy all week, bro. And so, yeah. But let me take y'all inside the car. Okay. So as y'all can see, I now have the bucket seats. It's probably not picking up on the camera, but let me flash the light enough. As y'all can see. I have the charger bucket seats, heated and cooled, plug and play. I love the bucket style, so actually got a great, great deal on these, so I had to hop on it, bro. Bucket style seats. I got my boy Louis D. <laughs> Hold on, let's see if we get yeah, Louis D got that sliding, boy. But uh, yeah. Um, back on topic, bro. So, um, just extremely grateful. I'm a, if y'all see some videos later on down the line because when I drove down to get the hood because I actually went down to Detroit to grab the hood and uh, I drove down to Detroit to grab the hood at uh, Buff X. I know y'all be seeing them on Fast Life Nick uh, stuff. Buff X, you know, and uh, they gave me, you know, I bought this. Th this is where I got the hood from. I drove down there with no hood on my car, y'all. So I'm going to be posting those clips in this video so y'all can see that stuff too as well. So, yeah. And then um, we got some, also got some exhaust work done. We got the tips pushed out to sit, you know, flush with the, with the rear diffuser to make everything aggressive. Like I said, all these lights work. The license plate lights work. These lights work. Let me show y'all. We also added some stuff to the front too as well. So let me show y'all. We got... We got blinkers, and they not in that orange yellowish color. The blinkers are white now, you feel me? So, y'all leave a link down below if y'all wanna know where I got the blinkers from. 
home so if i'm in traffic and i'm driving instead of the yellow flashing it'll flash the white color you feel me so that's a nice touch and all so as y'all can see we don't have the bronze rohanas anymore we got the all murdered out black on black thing yes these are the stock wheels but these are the real wheel drive wheels so on the all-wheel drive chrysler they look uh they look pretty good like you know they look flush they sit they sit pretty flush with uh you know they sit pretty flush with everything so and then that's the front like everything sit pretty flush and uh the car is coming together pretty good everything came together pretty good um i'm just so amazed that how far this car has come like from looking like all the chrome and the all the transformations like the Kai has had in general so like just seeing the kind of different light just seeing a car like this i think all that's left to do now is just get a wrap on the car and that's basically it if i that's even if i end up wrapping it bro but still the way the car has you know transformed it's, it's just uh it's just crazy. Let me go ahead and get y'all a start up so y'all can hear how this exhaust sound. And uh, yeah. Oh, I probably ain't gonna do it because the hazard's on. Give me a second. Probably ain't gonna do it because the hazard's on. Give me a second, y'all. All right, let's turn those off. All right, let's see if we can, let's see if we can get it to start up real quick. Man, the back end. Love it. So, as y'all can see, it got a nice tone to it. It got a nice tone to it. We need y'all to walk around and get on shut the car back off so y'all can do it. It got a nice tone to it like i said we have uh switched up some stuff so basically when i went to the exhaust shop the other day y'all i'm sorry that i haven't been vlogging man so y'all stay tuned man y'all y'all keep rocking with me i haven't been vlogging i should be vlogging all of this stuff bro because i done did so much over the last couple of days since i last posted and um i didn't vlog anything and i should have vlogged bro i should have vlogged that's what i should have did but that's my mistake next time i know because this is information that y'all should know hit me up on instagram if y'all got any questions in my dms about the rear end swap what's needed all that stuff but like i said the rear end swap is pretty straightforward some stuff was tricky i will say it was tricky but other than that it was pretty straightforward let me go ahead and uh talk to y'all about this exhaust so basically what i got done to the exhaust is um i got uh the flex pipe done, which was um, that rattling I heard on the left side. It was like an exhaust leak kinda. They said my flex pipe was broken. Got that fixed and then we also added an X pipe. And y'all, like the X pipe sounds so damn good. Next, I'm really debating on the simple fact of probably, probably three inches all the way back, pause. You feel me? But let me go ahead and pop the hood and show y'all what else I did to the car. Cause like I said, I just been, I just been working lately on this mug. I just been getting it together. So as y'all can see, we have the coil packs. We got new spark plugs, coil packs, and we got a 90 millimeter throttle body as y'all saw in the last video. I think that's like the last video that I made. So that's basically what's done to the engine bay and uh all of that good stuff so yeah in love with the hellcat hood y'all and this is um it's aluminum bro like it's just it's just way better than that uh this aluminum is way better than that fiberglass hood that i had so i wasn't even gonna trade my hood but you know somebody was like hey sell your hood so i'm like you know what I'm doing all these other changes, why not? Now, I would honestly say, like, I feel like I'm in a different car, bro. Like, this car feels so much different, bro. 
let me come inside the car and then don't get me started on the seats bro like the seats like now i feel like i'm in the car like now i feel like the seats is like hugging bro like the seats feel good the seats feel great and then like i said that i mentioned earlier they're heated and cooled still like they're heated and cooled seats still so i didn't by any means chances lose that functionality which was pretty good for me in the car because like long drives and then um still having that vented option that cool seat especially in the uh summertime and then uh y'all like I, i'm just grateful that this build is like like the progress of everything is just it's just crazy it's just crazy when i step back and look at it bro it's honestly just crazy so next i don't plan on keeping these wheels the only thing i plan on keeping off of these is the damn tires and the tire pressure sensors i was looking at some daytona wheels so when the timing is right i'm gonna go ahead and slap some daytona wheels on there and that'll make the fitment all that good stuff that'll make the car look so damn good with them daytona wheels these wheels they you know they are right but they not it's not screaming like the whole like aggressive like how the whole car is the whole car this whole car is just aggressive you feel me just like look at it just take it all in for a second it's this car is aggressive as hell you feel me so then we've been in the performance mods lately like i said i did the i did small mods but next we're doing headers next i want to do headers and i kind of want to do cam and lifters you feel me so i can have this motherfucker just just shaking you feel me and then what i really want to do is but i'm gonna save that after the simple fact of like when when everything is done and said i, I really want to throw a whip on top of the car i don't want to I don't, I honestly don't want to lose the 5.7 platform. I want to keep the 5.7. I don't care about swapping it like I done did literally everything I needed to do. A lot of people will say, oh, swap it, swap it, swap it, swap it. That's all I hear on a daily. You did everything else, swap it, swap it, swap it. I don't care to, you know, I don't want that headache. I don't care to swap it, you know. I don't, I don't want to go through that. I don't, don't ask me. I don't care. I don't care to swap the car at all. So, 5.7. What you see, that's, that's, that, you know, I'm driving. So I don't want to swap it. I don't care to swap it. So, yeah, that's just, I'm going to just throw that out there. I don't care to swap the car. So, yeah. um, Yeah, so that's basically how the build is going. This motherfucker looks so mean, y'all, just looking at it. It looks so mean just looking at it. Um, But, yeah. Yeah, turn them lights on real quick. Remember last time I was here, y'all, and I was telling y'all about the back end and stuff like that, and I didn't want to spend an extra bread. I'm glad I did because this bumper came painted, literally came with all the pieces that I needed, the original wire harness for the license plate light, everything, bro. Direct fit. I had the, then I went back to them, got the inner, inner fender liners, like all that stuff, bro everything worked out pretty good and i'm glad it worked out pretty good and i can honestly say i'm exhausted bro like this shit is uh this shit is uh it's tedious work and it's it's tiring bro so i, I love y'all man i appreciate all the love and support that y'all been giving me man y'all keep tapping in with me we on the road to 10k bro 10k after 10k it's only it's only up from there man so y'all make sure y'all run this video up leave a comment down below let me know you know what kind of videos y'all want to see let me know what y'all think about the build and how it's coming along let me know what y'all think about the upgrades that i made let me know if y'all got any questions man and i'll definitely help y'all help out as best as i can but until next time man i'm gonna catch y'all on the next video man peace